What's better than a stack of perfectly cooked French toast? Well, a casserole dish of perfectly cooked French toast. So we're gonna make some French toast casserole now. So I have a 13 by nine, and I'm gonna start by greasing it with just a tablespoon of butter. And this is a dish that not only can you bring to a party or a brunch, but it's also great just for a casual Sunday morning. It's super easy. You can make it the night before, pop it in the oven, done. All right, now, so I have the tablespoon of butter that I've greased, the 13 by nine dish. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a spice mixture. So I have three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar, and we're gonna do some cinnamon, nutmeg, and some salt. Now, the reason I love this recipe specifically is because you don't have to stand over the stovetop making batches and batches of French toast. It can usually be sort of a you know laborsome type of deal, especially if you have company over. So this, you know, if you do put it in the fridge the night before, because it's a great make-ahead option, then all the work is done for you. And I'm gonna make a custard that will absolutely blow your mind. Add some nut nutmeg in there. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up real nice. Now for bread, we're gonna be using potato bread today. It's really nice and tender and it holds up really well to the custard. I actually developed this recipe quite a few years ago and I found that potato bread held up really nicely. Um, white bread, challah, brioche, those tended to kind of disintegrate once I added the custard. And potato bread, this brand in particular, comes with 16 slices in the bag, and the recipe uses 18 slices. And I know that's really specific, but you do need the full 18. So I'm gonna start by adding three tablespoons of our spice mixture onto the greased casserole dish. And just kind of use your hand and make sure that you get it all around the bottom. And what happens, like if you can envision the cinnamon bun of your dreams right now. You know how it gets all gooey and delicious and caramelized on the bottom of the pan? That's sort of like what's gonna happen here. So now I'm gonna take six slices. You wanna lay them in a single layer, and you do kinda of have to squish these guys together. And if you have the heels of the loaves, which you will, it's a good idea just to put those on the bottom couple of layers. And now I'm gonna add three more tablespoons of the spice mixture. This is really as hard as the recipe gets. One more. Now we're gonna brush with some melted butter. So we're gonna do three layers of bread total with six slices per layer. For this last layer, I'm just gonna be using just the butter, so a tablespoon and a half of butter here. You hold off on the spices. We're gonna need two and a half cups of some whole milk. I love these guys. I know it's really big, and not everybody has a huge liquid measuring cup, but one of the reasons I love it is that you can just mix directly into it. You don't have to dirty another bowl. And then we're gonna crack six eggs. And this was the best ratio I found when I was developing this recipe because I didn't want it to be too eggy. Some French toast casseroles can be like that. And I also didn't want it to be too dry or just laden with a ton of dairy. So that's why I found two and a half cups of milk with this ratio of six eggs was the ideal ratio. Now just give this a good whisk. Make sure all the yolks are blended in nicely so that you don't have any yolk pool. Okay, now we're gonna pour it over the bread. So go into the corners. I found that's the best way to make sure everything's incorporated. Kind of go into where they have um, some gaps between the bread or between the bread and the pan. You can also sort of press it down as you pour too, just to ensure everything's getting covered. If you're gonna make this recipe ahead of time, this is where you stop. You can make it up to 12 hours in advance. Just put it in the refrigerator after you've done that step and be sure to cover it first. 
And you don't have to bring it down to room temperature. You can just put it directly into the oven and proceed with the recipe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle the remaining spice mixture over, over the top, because that's what it is. It's over the top. Here I have some sliced almonds that I went ahead and toasted. And for toasting nuts, it's a simple thing to do. You can either put them directly in the oven or in a skillet, a dry skillet. Just the best rule of thumb is to not walk away because guaranteed the second you walk away, they're gonna burn. By toasting them ahead of time, it brings out all that almond flavor. I have an oven that is preheated at 350 degrees with the oven rack adjusted to the middle position. And I'm gonna bake the casserole for 30 minutes until it's slightly puffed, bubbling around the edges and golden brown in color. But when we come back, it's time to finish our French toast casserole. I'm going to take the last bit of butter and just brush the top and then you're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes just to cool off a little bit. Now it's time to add one last ingredient. I know I said one last ingredient but now I really mean one last ingredient. We've got some confectioner's sugar here and you just want to go ahead and sprinkle all over the top. Yowza. I'm gonna taste, I'll take like a half a portion. This is so tender to cut through, it is just perfect. All right, I'm gonna go sans maple syrup first for my first bite. Mm. It's hard to keep saying when I taste food, this is so good because it's, it really, really, really is so good. I can taste the brown sugar, a little bit of that nutmeg, cinnamon, and most of all, a little bit of the salt that helps to kind of bring out all those flavors. And thanks to the potato bread, it held up beautifully, didn't disintegrate. If I had cut into it right away, it just wouldn't look as gorgeous and set up as it does right there. If you have a crowd coming over anytime soon that loves perfectly cooked French toast, or even if you don't, you need to make this. 